Hello, Euclid's big sol problem solved. Now, if you draw any two lines that intersect, you know, there are gonna be certain rules as long as it's below um, 81 degrees, or actually I'm giving you, yeah, below 81 degrees first, but basically first thing you wanna do is from the center point, find, uh, set the compass far enough out uh, where you make it convenient for the whole process. We'll go through that. But basically, once you have this, the circle arc connecting the two lines from the two points, find the perpendicular bisector between the two by swinging the compass out. Draw the line that intersects it and draw a line making a perpendicular to that line intersecting the two points that we found the bisector from. Now from this center point here, you want to draw a circle basically where this circle, the edges of the circle intersect, the radius length is from the bisector to the point where the lines intersect the original lines that we're trying to trisect. Now from this point, keep the compass at that same setting and, and connect a circle from the center point where, where the intersection of the, the bisector hits the line. And it will also kiss the, the perpendicular point where, and you're gonna do that from this side and from this side. And there's rules why this always will come like that, why six circles fit around one. But anyway, now from these two points, now below 60 degrees, where it not from this intersection of this Vesca Pisces form, but from where the line intersects, you're gonna draw a line from this point to where the bisector hits the outer cir circles edge or the center circle's outer edge and then from the outer or the and inner this size these circles that the original lines of trisection you basically cross those together from now where the where those intersect this just happens to be with these degrees here almost on the line the perpendicular one but now you, this is only to the angle here and if we go that and draw a line there this would actually give us a the vision of this line here three times. But we want the circles to get that. You simply swing the compass at the compass at the intersection point and transduce that arc to this original arc of the two lines. Because this is where we're finding the degrees between the line and this one would be the, the angle to that triangle here. But we're trying to transduce this line to the angle to the degrees. So with these inner circles, this point, you so therefore get it. This one was 56 degrees and the trisection was 18.3. And I said there's certain rules. What happens at 60 degrees, you'll see these circles actually then line up on this side here. You know, hit this, the intersecting lines. Now once this happens, you see that the rule changes for beyond 60. And yeah, that will go through that. But you see that it still works here. We're transducing this to this angle. And you can see there, it's a wider gap. So it's clearly the division that you get. And we're set there. Now, let me go through. Let me show you. So this is, there's a 47 degree. And you can see the same rules apply, 56. Now once you go about, above 60, You'll see this line, these circles actually go outside. Once they go outside where this Vesica Pisces is, you have to use this intersection for you, for there to get the proper to, intersection here to transduce to the line. This was 68, gives you 2, 322, 66. Now you'll see as the 81, now a new rule applies at 81. And the 81, from where the line goes, this, these, the out, upper Vesica Pisces now will start to come inside these lines. At 81, this intersects the circle there. Once that goes past 81, so you can see 86, you simply use the uh, this the Vesica Pisces for the end to get the inside to get the proper things. So you see if we would have been on the, uh, the line slightly outside on 86. So if we use that one, it would have been the wrong number. So once you go to 86, now another interesting thing happens at 90 degrees. In 90 degrees, and here's another way to define a right angle because at any point, if you draw the, set the center there, draw that circle to get the arc, and then draw a, 
a right angle triangle at this to get the 90 degrees, you'll find that the circle that intersects that will also perfectly intersect here. If the same rule applies, simply just go to the, uh, the Vesica Pisces, follow that out. And now, for an interesting thing is possible with that. Because now once you can, you can do that, for say like, I'll take a triangle, equilateral triangle to, uh, and this one I'm showing just around, you can also see when it works, it, uh, you'll see you always can have points to check or correct yourself as you're going through and not can go over that. But you can see basically just draw the circles, find the perpendicular, this circle that goes to the outer points of the equilateral triangle. The two circles then will fall right on that triangle into doing the same, you know, be at the same point. That's just where this happens to be at 120 degrees is what we're dissecting. So you can see at different angles, the rules, certain intersection has happened. Also like 45 and that's where you can find bisectors. It's all falls in the same rules. But you can see this gives you a nine divided in the three, supposedly uh, an impossible geometry. Now this is all pure Euclidean geometry, just straight edge and, um, and a compass. Now you can see now if you, now to find all numbers though, you have to use a little process to find prime numbers, but prime numbers you can't trisect or bisect to find prime numbers, so but you can use the trisection to, uh, to find those. But here's the simple way, the same six circles around, this is known as the flower of life. But you can see now if you do it two ways, the flower of life, it lays because when you draw six circles, uh, it forms a hexagon as it, out, it works out. I covered that in earlier videos, so if you respond, this would be the incorrect way to do it. You have to set it up where you're finding the flat part in between. Now you lay it out, you know these angles here where they hit the circle at each uh, of the 60 degree marks on the flower life are hitting the outer circle that you could draw at the end. You could use the law of concentric circles to know that each one is thing. But now on the uh, Hilbert Hotel and, and to decant Cantor there, you have to think in numbers. This is a Hermitian matrix, finding numbers, just laying it out like that. But the moment you think up to nine is just a basically um, an infinity of circle until you you put a decimal and a zero beyond that to form 10 and the thing. But as soon as you do that conceptually, it doesn't matter which way you go. If you go nine, 10, the thought of 10 must re brings the same division of, you can go now on the decimal point down the other way. So it was, a, it's a ridiculous argument that, which came to this, the, once again, number theory, you can make the rule, but <clears throat> the infinity goes as this expands, this contracts. This is going on prime numbers because now this also gives you just simply follow the perpendicular of each of the, let's see, Vesica Pisces, one, Vesica, two, three on the original one if you start where I started at three. But as you do that, you basically draw the coordinates and it gives you the line and you, if you follow on half each line, these, uh, these uh, angles will always stay the same. But you see here like uh, three, so this is 60 degrees here. I want to find the, uh, the 20. You can see the arc on the, on that. Now the divisions are down here. If I had drawn to where it's divisioning that, that line angle, you could see it would be off. But now if I go to where the bi, the perpendicular bisector from this, uh, the Vesica Pisces here, uh, crosses the arc, that gives you the perfect uh, degrees. Now you could break this down into a perfect mathematical formula because we know the area using Pythagorean theorem that the hypotenuse is the, is the square root of three. So if this is 